Hello guys, today I'll be talking about the new update improvement in uh, Sony Xperia L. The first thing uh, is the lock screen, there are big changes here. First we have the camera if we swipe in the right side. Okay, I'll be getting to this later. Uh, now I want to show you the widgets you can add. You can put here some widgets that are stock or some widgets that um, you install like flashlight and so on. Let's see this. There is. Okay, let's um, let's unlock this. Now uh, let's go and test uh, the camera improvements. So the camera has improved a lot in terms of uh, low light. In my opinion, it's far better because uh, it you don't. Uh, have that lo that lag in uh, low light situation, as you can see. You know, as you can see here, it's kind of low light, and uh, the camera is moving well. The only bug I notice when you take a photo with in low light with flash, the image the image freaks freeze for a second, then it takes the photo. Okay, let's sh let's show you. We have now uh, scene auto scene. It uh, automatically select the best condition for your photo. Let's go to settings. Uh, you have the basic settings, and uh, they added these preview options. I don't remember it being there in the pre previous update. Let's go to normal mode. Here you have more settings like uh, HDR, ISO, and uh, that's about all. Let's go to video camera. In video camera, there are the basic updates, and the only thing uh, I see improved here is the video blinking issue is gone when uh, the phone focuses on the light and the focus is right uh, wrong sorry okay let's take a short video here as you can see it moves very smoothly there's no issue with uh, anything at all you also have the new burst, burst option uh, you have to keep pressing this button here and uh, it will automatically take as many pictures as you want it doesn't use the flash or I think you have to turn it on and be there for the whole time the photo quality is not very good if you move it but if it stays still it's uh, very good okay let's get out of camera that's pretty much about it and let's go test the game that is many people told me that it's not working and in my opinion it's working better than the, in previous update let's wait for it to load Uh, later I will show you a game in order to test the multi-touch which I don't know what to say about it sometimes it works better sometimes not it's uh, it might be like a software issue okay let's stop the play as you can see Subway Surfers is far better in my opinion it doesn't skip frames you don't have any little lag anymore it's just perfect and remember that I'm on stock without any overclock of CPU or GPU you can do pretty much anything and play this game 100% lag free let me play it a little more so you can convince that uh, it's actually true there's no issue I remember on the last update when you have this um, double score it lagged a little when you took the coins as you can see there's no lag okay pretty much about about subway surfers uh, I will show you now the multitasking new multitasking this is the new small apps and you have here everything let's for example put the camera you can make it larger you can take a photo and if it needs it uh, uses the flash and it takes a normal photo uh, the full resolution I mean okay now let's test the multi-touch uh, I have the here hardest game ever too and I will play a level that it requires multi-touch let's see here okay you have to press simultaneously two or three buttons 
as you can see it's not very very responsive but it's working decent as you can see I pressed once and it came two cups of ice let's play it again and it's working let's say about 80 percent or something like that okay that's pretty much it I hope I convinced you that it's working multi-touch is fine let's swipe it up okay the new keyboard it's let's write something I hope you can see it Hello. this is the test for Xperia L okay that's it um, now let's go to settings and show you the improvements here uh, under display we have day, daydream it you can make it uh, the, make the screen like that when the phone is on charge or uh, while it's docked you have multi multiple options you can put put, put photos and stuff like that Okay, next I'll be showing you the um, version. As you can see, it's 4.2.2, and the bi the new bio number. Uh, that's pretty much about it in settings. As you can see, there are no, there are no improvements in uh, the status bar. There's the status bar which is on 4.1.2. In the pause. Okay, now I'll be showing you the the apps. Uh, the device memory is uh, the same uh, and you have internal 4 gigs that's that's all and RAM let's wait a second as you can see I have 603 used and 233 so pretty much the same maybe 1 1 mega in minus or plus and uh, that's all. Hope you enjoyed my review and uh, I'll be seeing you next time. Good luck guys.